other art forms enjoy such a dedicated fan base. Graphic novels inspire an allegiance that provides quite a spectacle. But while outsiders may perceive their stories as light-hearted flights of fancy, the narratives have always had a symbiotic relationship with the politics of the day. Professor X was Martin Luther King, uh, Magneto was Malcolm X. Currently there's a story that's just um, mirroring very much what's going on in America right now. And with the North American market alone estimated to be worth a little over one billion US dollars, their relevance is unlikely to wane. They've been a running commentary on military action since their inception. Captain America was punching Hitler in the face a full year before the United States entered World War II. And Superman was taking out Nazi paratroopers before they even touched the ground. And comic books have had something to say on each of the major conflicts of the 20th century. In 1968, the long campaign for civil rights was raging in the United States. Stan Lee, then editor of Marvel Comics, used his platform to challenge society's failings. He described bigotry and racism as among the deadliest social ills plaguing the world today. A message to his staff and his audience designed to elicit their support in the fight for change. It's something that comics do very, very well, and they take their reader along with them and allow them to expand and question exactly what it is the establishment is trying to push. While the industry has been largely applauded for its progressive thinking on some social issues, it has a poor history with others. Batgirl, hampered by a fashion malfunction. Wonder Woman, acting as a secretary to the Justice League. And critics have commented on a lack of diversity among the top flight superheroes. Creators are racing to address these issues. But these are changes that don't sit well for all fans. People who are fans of the comics, who've been following it for 10, 20, 30 years, they don't want that change. They don't want, they go into a shop and all of a sudden they're confused. So I don't think uh, the public always positively react to it. With superhero franchises providing the lion's share of box office success, their source material is being drawn further into the mainstream. Writers and artists will no doubt move to satisfy their growing readership. But is a willingness to confront social ills behind the longevity of these graphic novels? Or have they been sticking their nose where it doesn't belong? <laughs>